Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Wreath Wednesday. This is Dawn with Wreath Decor by Dawn. Thank you for joining me tonight. All right, so let me go ahead and get up the live here so that I can see. All right, so tonight we are going to be doing this oval grapevine that I have. It is in... It's actually a pretty big size uh, grapevine. It's like 20, almost 24 inches, this grapevine. So let me see what the tag actually says it is. The tag says it is, it says it's an 18 inch grapevine. Actually it says, I'm gonna put my glasses on. Actually says it's a 16 inch grapevine. But when I measure it on my mat, it, covers my entire mat which is 24 inches wide so I think they got the wrong tag on this one but anyway that's what we're going to be doing tonight so there's that I have some ribbon here that we're going to use to make a bow I have a couple of ba uh, bunches of fall florals that we're going to use up I have some of these left over from other projects that I've been doing the last couple of times so we're going to use some of these, a little bit of everything here, and just kind of add all these in. Thank you for blessing my page. I really do appreciate that. If y'all wouldn't mind hitting that share button down there and help me out just a little bit. So, And then I have these velvet pumpkins in the white and the green, moss green. I really like those. So we're going to use those too. All right. So I want to welcome everybody. If you're new to my page, please say hello. Tell me where you're from. <clears throat> we like to give you a shout out from wherever you're watching from. And also just uh, let your friends know we're watching as well. Hello, Sue Merrick. And uh, invite them to come on over and join us as well. So we'll have a few virtual drinks and do some wreathing. And uh, maybe towards the end, I'm going to open up a um, subscription box that I got from Ranch House uh, Wreaths and more. So that just came tonight. So we'll open that up and see what kind of goodies I got. It's kind of a, it's a mystery box. You don't know what you're getting. So looking forward to seeing that. All right. So this oval, I'm going to set aside. And then once I get done with the bow we'll show you guys how I clean those up I always use a piece of brown paper or some kind of paper down here because it kind of helps collect all that stuff from the grapevine so that you can throw it away welcome everybody thank you so much for joining me tonight I really do appreciate it I hope you're all having a good night all right so I'm going to do I'm not going to make the tails on this very long hello everybody I'm not going to make the tails very long because what I'm going to do is after I make the bow, I'm going to make take two long strips of the, the ribbon and I'm going to make longer tails to go um, around the or down the grapevine. So I'm not going to use uh, too long of a tail on this one. And I think all my loops are going to be about five inches. Hello. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Make sure you spread the love. Tell your friends to come and join us. Hey, hey, Susan. How are you doing? It's been a busy week here, so... We're just trying to get back into uh, a normal routine. So I'm doing five-inch loops. I want this to be a big loopy bow. So I'm not quite sure how many loops we're going to do, but we're just going to go until I'm done. Yeah, I don't know if Mr. Bob's on or not yet, but I'm sure he will pop in at some point and say hello. So what's everybody been up to? Anybody doing anything? Got anything going on? Thank you so much for sprinkling the love. I do appreciate that. I'm sorry if you can hear people talking in the background. They're actually downstairs and they're talking. We're a loud bunch, so you can pretty much hear us from everywhere. So 
So we are making five inch loops. This is a one and a half inch ribbon. Thank you, Cindy. There's our virtual bartender. She's on call tonight. We've had a relief bartender for a couple of weeks, Susan. <laughs> All right, so this is the end of my roll here. So let's see if we can get the rest of this. And since we're not making long tails with it, it's okay that... Let's see how many we've got on each side. We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That might work. Let's just leave it at five and see. Five on each side. So what I do when I finish a roll is I tear off this end with the label on it so I can put it over here with my stash. And um, that way I know what ribbon I've used up so that I can order more. And also I take these little cardboard inserts in the center out, rip the other end off, and you can use these to help you with holding things up. If you paint signs or anything, um, you can use them if you have a couple of them the same size. I have a few. Um, I don't know where I put them, but anyway, I use these when I'm practicing my painting and it holds my stuff up off of the paper so that it doesn't stick to my paper. So you can use these for a whole different, you know, a bunch of different things. I throw them in a baggie, collect them and uh, use them for different things. So just an idea. All right. So we've got five loops on each side. Let me grab a zip tie here. We're going to zip tie this. I'm going to use a black one. Yeah, we'll go ahead. I'm thinking if I want to add more, but hmm, let me think here for one second, guys. That's five. One. There, there, there. Yeah, we'll just leave it at five. We can always add a second bow if need be. How's everybody doing tonight? Thank you all so much for joining me. I know it's probably a busy night. I know lots of people go live tonight, so I appreciate you being here and supporting me. All right, so we're going to pull this off, tighten that down just a little bit, swing that latch around to the back. And I want to get my zip tie right into that indent there from the bow maker. So I use the Easy Bow Maker. Don't want to get it too tight, but tight enough that I can fix my loops and not have them come undone. I'll cut this piece off here after I fluff these out. We're going to open these up so that we have these big loopy loops, loopy loops. We'll cut that later. I'm not going to cut it right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that looks good. And then we can put something in the center to um, cover up this spot here, and you won't see the, the zip tie either. So now that I've got those all kind of blend, pulled out, they bullied who? You bullied who? Oh, hon, you were fine, Teresa. No problem. Thank you, Susan. All right, so I'm gonna, I gotta get my pliers to do this. My hands just don't let me. All right, so you notice I'm not putting the wire on yet and I'll show you why here in just a second. All right, so I'm tightening that up. Let me grab a, another pipe cleaner. We're gonna cut this off. Oh, you're talking about my bows? Yeah. I'm trying to do more of them on lives. 
So I'm just gonna take my pipe cleaner. It's a, I use brown when I'm working with grapevines, obviously, because it blends in. So we're gonna take this and put it right through here, and it's gonna cover up that zip tie. And I'm gonna give it a little twist. Whoops, make sure you got it on there. Then give it a twist. There we go. And then twist, twist, twist. I am loopy. I'm telling you I'm loopy. I didn't get much sleep today, so yeah, I'm loopy. <laughs> Cindy's probably loopy too. All right, so we did five inch. I love this green and rust plaid. It's that mossy green. I love that color, that mossy green color this year. I keep going back to Hobby Lobby hoping that they'll have more of that solid moss green that I like, but they haven't gotten any more. <laughs> yeah, that's us. We're loopy. All right. So there we go. We're just going to fluff these out. And then this is going to go on our grapevine. And then we're going to build around it with our florals. Okay. <clears throat> so anybody have any plans for the holiday weekend? Our state is opening up a little more. It's going to loosen some of the restrictions starting Friday. Just in time for the holiday. Or holiday weekend anyway. All right. Here's the grapevine. I'm breaking up. Am I breaking up, guys, for anybody else? Let me know. Oh, no, Sue. Honey, I'm so sorry about that. I know what that can be like. I'm so sorry. No, no problems? Okay, good. All right, so we got the grapevine here. I've already cleaned the majority of it up. This grapevine here is it's kind of flat up here at the top, and then it comes, it gets a little wider or thicker right down here at the bottom. Um, so I want to use, I want to see which side is the better side. This one has got these things that, the, the wood that protrudes out. You want to be careful with those because you don't want it to damage someone's door. So I'm trying to get them so they're not protruding out. This right here would probably scratch someone's door if it was on the back. So we're going to put this on the top. This is going to be our top side. All right. And then this side is thinner than this side over here. So I might... No, I'm going to do it on this side. I was going to say I'll put some stuff over there, but we might. We'll, we'll see. All right, so for now, we're going to put this on, and then we're going to build around the bow. So I'm going to use my needle. These are the plastic needles that I have. I sell these in my shop if anyone is interested in them. Um, but we're going to use the plastic because it'll bend through the grapevine. So I'm going to put this on here. I do like the ovals. I don't do very many of the ovals, though. So let's see, we're gonna put the bow. Let's put it down a little, not right in the center. Let's put it down here. It doesn't always have to be right in the center, right at the top, right at the bottom. Make it, make it, make it your own, put a little different spin on it, put it somewhere else. Why not, right? Can always move it. Yeah, I, that's that's such a pain. That's the bad thing about selling a house is that the there's always that possibility of that happening, and it's so frustrating and depressing because you get your hopes up, you're ready for it start making those plans for the new place and then wham you're hit with it that's got to be frustrating but we will take your mind off of it sue very soon and you will get another buyer very quickly i'm sure you have a beautiful home 
All right, so I just twisted this around the back. I'll show you the back here in one second. So see this brown pipe cleaner just goes right through here, right through the grapevine, and then I can cut that off and tuck that end in and it won't, it won't hurt anything. It won't stick out, won't hurt anybody, won't scratch up anybody's door, nothing like that, okay? All right, so let's get these loop, loopy loops going here. And what I'm gonna do with the long tails, I'm gonna tuck it up underneath here with the um, pipe cleaners as well. So we don't have to do that part right now. So those needles make it really easy to get that up here and through this. I know, I gotta stop playing with the bow. I play with the bow way too much. All right, so here are the florals if you just joined. So this is part of one that I did the other day that um, I cut some stuff off of. It's got a little gourd in here as well, so maybe we'll use that. I love these colors. This, this mustard color, dark mustard color with the ivory or beige flowers and then the greens and the burgundies in there. I really like those this year. I also have this one here, and then we have these here. I, I, I don't know what type of flowers they are, unless they say, this one says it's a dahlia. So we'll go with that. And then this one says it's a peony. All right, and then I have these really nice looking dark rust leaves. I really like these. And we're gonna use some of these. These came from Hobby Lobby. These were $9.99 and then 40% off. So not too bad, not bad at all. And then we're gonna use these velvet pumpkins in the green and ivory color. Okay, so that's for you guys if it just joined. So I'm gonna cut some of these off. Welcome everybody and thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my page, please tell me hello. Tell me where you're from. We like to welcome our new newbies. And I do go back after my live and welcome everyone that tells me they're new. So even if you don't want to say hi, hit the, the thumbs up or hit the heart to let us know you're watching. You don't have to talk if you don't want to. I probably won't use all of them, but we'll take them all anyway. What the heck? As long as we're on a roll, let's do it. So we've got, what is it, two weeks from, no. What is it? What's our, what's our countdown this week? One... Yeah, two weeks from um, Friday until we get, or Thursday, tomorrow, till we get to see each other at the retreat. So excited about that. Been looking forward to this for, what, almost a year now we've been looking forward to it? All right. So these slide up, all these leaves and berries and things. Um, can be slid up so we're gonna slide them up as far as we can these little styrofoam balls fall off no big deal and then I want to pull some of this forward so it's not all tucked to the back okay and I'm gonna make these kind of short not too short but I don't want them real long either and then we're just going to start gluing them in. I'm using my glue pot tonight that sits over here. I just have a little small six inch skillet and I'm dipping the stems in the glue. You want a nice glob on there and we're going to lift up this bow and we're going to go right up underneath it. And we're going to put this right into the grapevine and that's it right there. So we're going to do a couple of these. This one's got a little pine cone on the end of it. I know, I can't wait. I am so excited. Susan is coming here first to visit with me for a couple of days. We're gonna go do some shopping, have some fun, and then we take off to go to the retreat. She's gonna drive with me, it's in Myrtle Beach. 
which is only a couple hours from me. So that will be fun. Next weekend, I'm going to the Sims Floral Show here in North Carolina. So for two weekends, I'll be running around busy. Okay, I'm bending this one out because I want stuff here in the center, not just in the, the middle. And I'm going to take this other one and bend it out a little bit. So there's the three. There's one going to the inside, one in the middle, and one to the outside. Then I'm going to put one more right here at the end with these twigs. So let me push everything up. I know I get to meet Sue. I get to meet Susan. All these friends I've had for so long that we've never seen face to face. We're finally going to get to see each other and give each other a big hug. We get to spend four days with each other at the beach, crafting. Who could ask for anything more, right? Who wouldn't want to do that? Okay, I have a hair or something on me and it keeps blowing like it, and it feels like something's crawling on me. All right, so I want to do off to the side here too. I don't want to leave the side. Don't want to neglect that. Let me see which one I want to use on the side. These two I'm going to use at the end, that one there. We'll use this over here on the side. It's a small one. And if I'm missing any comments, guys, ask it again and I'll answer it. Or if I don't see it, Susan or Cindy will help you if they're here. But I do go back um, after my lives and I um, read everyone's comments, welcome everybody, and um, answer any questions y'all may have had. Even if I answered them on here, I answer them again just to make sure. There. There we go. That one, that one, and that one. So we'll do this one. I'm going to put this one on the inside because on the other side I did it on the outside. Hey, Joy. I don't think so, Susan. You keep saying things like that, but I don't think so. You might be ready to get rid of me, you know that? That's always a possibility, too. You might get tired of me. I've been told I'm not an easy person to live with. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but I have been told that. And if Cindy's on here, she needs to be quiet. <laughs> no comments from the peanut gallery. Family members are not allowed to respond to that. Oh, I adore you too, sweetie. Can't wait to give you a big old hug after I find you wandering around the airport with your cowboy hat on. All right, so I'm gonna pull some of these loops through this these see how these things just keep popping off of here nothing you can do to stop them don't worry about it there's plenty on there so I want these through my loops I'm gonna work them into the leaves so they don't all look like they're sitting right on top Of course, family is always going to give you away. All right, there we go. Stop, 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 stop. 
always got to tell myself to stop. <laughs> Don't make me wander too. I would never let you wander too long. Never, never, never. All right, so I only have one of these extra left over, so I might as well just use it up. There's no point in saving this one little piece, so we're going to stick it right over here on the side where I see a nice little empty spot under my loop. All right, there we go. So there are our leaves, okay? Now we're gonna start adding some of these flowers. So let me see what I wanna start with here. I think I'm gonna start with these two big ones first. Let's use these up and then maybe build the smaller ones out around it. You made an owl wreath today, awesome. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Save your extra leaves, guys. You can use them for fillers. Don't throw these away. Keep those extra ones and your stems. If they're these are kind of thick to be using to for um, you know to use the stem parts, but um, you want to hold on to those because they can uh, use be used as fillers. So I love these great big huge flowers. I want to keep the leaves on, but they're kind of low, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm just setting it in dry so I can see if I like it. Now, see, this one moves up. The other one didn't. These slide, so that's a good thing, because then you can move it where you want it. I don't know if I like that. Don't know if I like that, like that. Hmm. I like these flowers. I just don't know if I like the placements. Sorry. You know what, Sue? It makes me anxious too. You just can't see it. I And that's why I'm trying to push myself to do more florals. That was one of my goals this year. Every year I try to set a new goal for myself. And this year was working more with my florals. So I've done that. I've done a lot of florals this year. There. I don't know. Do you guys like those there? I like them. I'm just trying to see if I like where I put them. I don't want to spend too much time just doing this, but before I glue it in, I want to make sure it's... I, I can cut this stem a little smaller. That's probably part of the problem. Yeah, we're gonna leave that there. And we're going to cut this one down a little bit too. This is the one where the leaves don't move, but I still need it to be a little bit shorter before I glue it in. And I could probably take those leaves off, but they're gonna be tucked up under here anyway, so it's all good. I want this. Thank you. I love these colors. Hey, Carla. How are you? I'm sorry I missed your Zoom tonight. I was at company. I was occupied. There we go. I know. I want Kathy to be there so bad. I want to meet her. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now that I've got those in there, now I gotta remember where to put them, right? Okay, I'm gonna dip this in the glue. 
And I'm going to try and get it in the right position. Doesn't want to stay. Stay there, please. Don't move. All right, there's that one. Um, we're still working on it. I've got to go to the for the nerve test. They sent. They're going to send me for the nerve test. But with everything that's been going on the last couple of days, I haven't got the appointment yet. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, now that everything is calmed down a little bit. It's been a, a busy week. If you all saw on my page, my son-in-law lost his mom this week. And um, they had her service this morning. It was a beautiful service. It just broke my heart for my grandkids. This is the first death that they've had to deal with. So it was kind of rough for them. But they're doing good, so thank you all for your well wishes and prayers. I appreciate that very much, and I know my family does as well. All right, so there's those two. All right, let's use... I really like this bush here because... Yeah, I really like these, so let's use some of these first. Thank you, Carmen. I appreciate that. I just, I feel bad for my, my son-in-law and my daughter and their kids and his whole family. And, you know, it's, it's always tough, but they all did a, you know, awesome job. Her service was beautiful, so... They went home today, so they had to leave right after the, the service. So I'm putting a few of these other ones on the outside. They look like they're about the same kind of flower. So we're going to go with, the. Um, let's see what this says, peonies. That's what it says they are. So I'm going to take their word for it since I don't know anything about flowers. Thank you. That was the first time I made it. Now I'm like, I want to pick it apart and redo it. Because, you know, when you start looking at it after you're done with it, it's like, why did I glue everything in so quickly? <laughs> Wednesday is a crazy day. All right, I'm going to turn this around here and I'm going to do this other side. So what I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other. And these have these little wispy leaves on them. We'll leave those on there. If they're not, if I don't like them, we'll get rid of them. I know, but you know, Susan, you do the same thing. You want to, you, you've, you're just like me. I know you are. You want to pick them apart and you see things you could have done differently. And it's like, why did I do that? Or why didn't I do this? And it's like, you know, I have another saddle. So I'm like, maybe I should just take it apart really quick and <laughs> get it done before I have to. All right. I'm going to put some of these on the outside because I don't want to leave the outside bare. Um, yeah, I haven't posted a picture of it yet, Carla. Um, I'll send it to you afterwards, though. I'll send it to you tonight. I'll put it in, the ch in our chat. No, I don't want that one there. Never mind. Get out. Come on. Get out. Before the glue dries, got to pull that one back out. I know. I And I am really critical of myself. <laughs> really critical. All right. I'm going to take that one off. I don't want that one on there. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. There we go. 
Um, you know what? Let's see. No, we'll wait. I was going to say let's use that gourd, but we'll wait. I'm going to take this one here, cut this one off. It's stuck to the other ones. Some of these leaves look a little cheesy and... Fake. Too fake. <laughs> so I didn't get to see. Is anybody doing anything this weekend for the holiday? It's my uh, grandson's birthday. One of my grandsons. Our second oldest grandson. So it's his birthday. So there we go. We're going to put these little flowers over here. Cleaning. That's no fun. There's Brandon. He's our, going to be our birthday boy on Friday, you guys. There we go. That looks good. All right. Now I want to go ahead and put some on the inside over here. Somebody's going to a wedding. Oh, nice. Weddings are fun. Unless you're putting them on, then they can be a little um, stressful. All right, so I'm going to put this one on the inside. And you'll bend your stuff when you put it in. It doesn't have to go straight in. Bend your, your flowers up. Bend them down. Bend them to the side. Put them where you want them. There we go. That one should have been on that side now that I think about it. But that's okay. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I won't play with it anymore. It's your great granddaughter's birthday party. Oh. Yeah, Brandon is going to be 14. My little man, my, well, we call him Peanut. He's our little peanut. He's going to be all grown up. They all are. They're all getting so big, getting so old, making grandma feel old. It's not fair. Okay, I don't want to bury my bow here, but... There we go. All right, a couple more. Let's see. I'm going to put trying to see where I want to put this one. Let me look and see what else I got over here first. You know what? Let's take and put some of this mustard color in. Let's do that. I'm going to do a couple of these. One. Y'all, I am burning up in here tonight. My ceiling fan went out. It's like everything went wrong this week. Our thermostat started messing up upstairs. We finally think we got that figured out. Then as soon as we got that, you know, diagnosed that, um, my ceiling fan went out up here. And I have to have a fan all the time. So that's not good for me. I'm going to take a drink. Everybody grab a drink and take a drink. Thank you for all the birthday wishes for Brandon. That's so sweet. Yes. He is such a sweetheart. All of the kids are. We got lucky. We got some good ones. <laughs> yeah, I know you're happy about the thermostat, but don't worry, we already fixed it. Oops, sorry about the noise. You know what, I think I'm going to just, let's try it first before I cut it. Yeah. 
I'm going to leave the stem that long. Brandon is a gamer. He likes to play games, the computer games. So does Nathan, but he does more of the, he does a, he likes to do the music stuff and they're both gamers, I guess you could say. What flower did I put down there? I can't even tell. Oh, it was one of those. That one. That's the one I need. Gotta pack your flannels? Yeah. No, we'll turn it off for you. But as soon as you leave, I'm turning it back on. Or if I gotta be up here, I'm turning it on. I know that much. I don't think I want these leaves on here, though. They have two different leaves on here, so I'm going to take that off. Well, that's true. Every teenage boy is into games, aren't they? I can't say too much. We used to play video games with, um, you know, when our when my son was younger, and we had a um, the Wii. We still have it, actually, but we. Um, We still like to play Mario whenever we can, although we can't find ours right now. <laughs> it's disappeared on us. But yeah, we didn't, you know, we had, I don't know, when we were growing up, you know, we had arcade games. That's what we played. We played uh, pinball and stuff like that. We did have asteroids and... What was uh, Frogger and what was the other one? I can't think what the other one was. Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting old. I can't remember anything anymore. All right, I'm going to work some of these little smaller flowers right in here into in between the loops of my bow. Nope. Take that out. I don't like that. All those leaves on there are just too much. Pac-Man. Yeah, that was another one. But we had to actually go to either the arcade or the bowling alley or one of them to play the games. We didn't have them in our home. <laughs> Atari, yeah. Yeah, you'll have to be in your parka when we do our live. <laughs> yeah, I don't like these leaves. All right, let me put some more glue on that. Oh, come on. Now it doesn't want to go back in there. I always tend to bunch everything up. I hate that. I need to spread it out a little bit. Seems like everything just gets all bunched up. But on this one, I wanted to see some most of the, the grapevine. So we're not going to cover up the whole grapevine here. go. Alright, I need to find some smaller things here I can put in my bow. I need some small ones. Oh, I like these. Let's try a couple of these. There's one. I'll do this one. And this one. Alright, we'll use the... Oh, I gotta get my pumpkins over here before I forget about them. I don't know. I may not need them now, but let's see. Let 
get those over here so I don't forget about them. Yes, slot machines. little bit shorter all right put this flower on to match this one over here Thank you. Let's see if I can get this down in here. Y'all, if you want to um, check out our design group, Carla and Susan and I have a design group, the three of us. It's called Team of Dreams Design Group. We meet twice a week on Mondays and Fridays, 8 p.m. Eastern, and we rotate um, the designers for each of us. So I am up on Friday. And Susan was up on Monday and we do all of our designed uh, classes on Zoom so it's interactive it's more personable you guys get to be a part of the design you get to talk and tell us what you like what you don't like what you want to see us change it's just a lot more user friendly for us it's $14.99 a month for the three designers twice a week. You get um, extras as far as our discounts and things like that, information on where we get our stuff. And we would love for you to come and check us out. I'm holding this up to see if I want to add anything to the top. I feel like the top needs one more flower, so let me look here. But you can just type in the word group, and I will send you the information after my live. Um, I'm going to try this one, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do one more up here at the top. Hey, Josh. Give the boys a kiss for me. I saw Christina's name too. Hey, Christina. Hugs and kisses to you too. We do have a lot of fun. Several of our members are, are probably in here as well. Um, I'm not going to do these leaves. These leaves don't look like they go with my design here. But the green ones we can leave on. You are never late, Beverly. Nope. No such thing as being late, guys. All right. So as soon as I get done with this, I'm going to open up my box from Ranch House. I got my box today. And it's, uh, it's a su subscription box. So you don't know what you're getting in it. I don't know what the theme was this month. But it came from Ranch House, Wreaths, and more. Don't stick your finger in the glue. It's not where it goes. There. I think that's what it needed right there. Ta-da! 
Can y'all see that? I'm loving these colors, you guys. All right, I'm going to put a couple of these pumpkins in. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to use the green, but what about the ivory? What do you guys think? Do you like these? You think I should add them or should I just leave the design alone? If I leave it alone, I'm going to put something, some more, another little flower in the center here if I can find something small enough. Maybe not, because I don't have anything left that's small. But what do you think about these? Should I leave them or put them in? You still haven't gotten yours, Susan? I would message them and make sure they got your, um, that they got your order. Did you get anything saying that you placed the order? Yeah, here's the ivory and here's the green. I'm trying to see if the camera catches up. There it goes. Maybe we should do the green now that I see it on the screen. Yeah, I was only going to put a couple in, not too many, like maybe three. You like, everybody seems to like the green one, so let's try the green. Let me cut one off and see how it's going to look. Hopefully they have long stem. They're all different sizes, so some of them are small, some of them are big. Let's see what we got here. The stems are not that long, but I can always pick them. If I can get to my pick machine. Let me rip that off at the end there. Yeah, I was thinking like adding just a one or two here and there. Not, not a lot. I'm thinking I could put one like right there. Just peeking out. I don't want it to be standing up too tall. But just a little peek, you think? Let's try it and see. There's one. Let's do a bigger one over here. You haven't gotten yours yet either? Oh, uh, well then, yeah. If you don't want me to show it, then I, yeah. I'll give you all a heads up before I open it, and then you can leave if you don't want to see it. For anybody that's ordered them. All right, I'm going to put another one over here. I'm just moving the leaves out of the way and putting it right down in here. Feels like it's coming off, but it's not. There we go. Can you see them? I'm going to do another small one in the center, I think. Thank you all. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Kathy. Sorry, I'm just peeling some of this paper off of here because it'll make it easier when I poke it in here. Oh, I can't sound, stand that metal scraping against the bottom of my thing there. Okay, I'm going to put this one right in the bow here. What do you think? There's three of them. Do you think we need any more? Maybe one more over here. Let's see what I got here. I need to get these leaves underneath here.
All right, let me go ahead and cut. They did take out your money. Just leave the three. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more um, of this ribbon so I can make the long tails. You're not late, Ty, not at all, hon. Thank you for joining me. Ty is a member of our group. We were just talking about the group. All right, so I wanna make these. I think I'm gonna do them each 24 inches. So let me do 24 and maybe more. I don't know, let me see here. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, 24 will be plenty. Cut that one and let's do one more. You guys can also join my email list if you're not on there already and you want to get notified when I go live. You can just type in the word email in the comments and I will send you a link to sign up for it. Um, and all I do is send you out an email once a week telling you I'm going live and any information that I might need to pass along. Like recently we did the giveaway, um, stuff like that. But that's it. That's the only time I use it. I don't spam you with anything. Just to share my lives and my information. All right, so I'm going to gather this up at the end. You know what? I think I might use a zip tie on this instead. I was going to use a pipe cleaner, but I think I'm going to use a zip tie because a zip tie will get tighter than the... Um, than the pipe cleaner for me. So I'm just bunching this up and I'm going to go right up underneath my bow here and I'm going to find the frame. I should have done this first, but I didn't want to, didn't want to do it. All right, let me, I got to see what I'm doing here, guys. Flip it over here. Oops. Nope, that's not going to work either. So you know what I'm going to do instead? Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to get it in there now. I should have done it before I put the flowers in. I was thinking I'd have plenty of room, but I'm going to double this over at the end. I'm going to tie a pipe cleaner around it, and then we're going to pick it. And then the pick will stick in there just as tight as the zip tie would have. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing here. I always tend to pull things towards me when I'm working on them and forget that sometimes you guys can't see. All right, so I'm just tightening that on there. So all I did was fold over the end of my ribbon and then I tied that pipe cleaner on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this and I'm going to stick it down into the frame. So I have my pick machine over here. Let me grab it because it's on the other side of my glue pot. There we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> my pipe, my uh, pick machine is a little testy sometimes, so it likes to spit out more than one pick at a time. All right, so all that did was put a steel pick on the end of that, and I'm going to put glue on that, and I'm going to stick it in to my grapevine. Make sure my ribbon's going the right direction here. Joy, you want information on the group? Is that what you said? All right, so I'm gonna put this up underneath here. I'm gonna go up under the ribbons, I mean the uh, bow. There it goes. 
on. Come on. All right, there's that. Now I'm going to weave this in between these leaves and things. I'm going to give it another pinch right here. And we're going to come across and I'm going to go up underneath. Let's see if that's where I want to go with it or not. Might go over here. Maybe I'll leave it a little bit longer. Friday. Okay, now I'm going to use the zip tie because I can get to this part easier and get it around part of the grapevine right here. There it is. Yes. All righty. Zip tie. All right, so then that zip tie is going to hold that on there tight. I'm just going to clip off the end of the zip tie. There we go. You're not late. And then this we're going to curl. Where's my dowel? I'm just going to take this and wrap it around my dowel. And let it curl like that. There's that one. Do the same thing with this one here. So taking that ribbon, I'm bending it over. I'm going to take a pipe cleaner. All right, get that nice and tight. Everybody thank Susan for helping me out tonight, please. She has been putting in my links and things for you. I want to thank you for helping me out. We are almost done, guys. See, it spit out two of them again. Doggone it. I like the pick machine, but it can be testy sometimes. Alright, so I put the pick on that. We're going to stick this in the glue. There we go. And I'm going to go right up underneath the bow again on this side. There we go. Make sure that went up under there. And then we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to make a loop. We're going to scrunch it up. And we're going to zip tie it down to the frame. Now I'm using black zip ties because they're going to hide. And i got to get up underneath here. Where is it? Let me try it going this direction. There it goes. 
Easy peasy, sorry about that. Oh no, Gail, that's awful. Gail had a faucet that burst while she was away. Oh no. I'll bet that was a mess. All right, so we're gonna weave this in with our leaves. Maybe, if it'll let me. And then we're gonna curl this end over here again. Oh man. And then we're gonna pull this out a little bit. There it goes. Probably should have done an extra one. I might add another one later. But there we go, guys, what do you think? So you don't need a sign, but you could put a sign on it if you had one. You could put another bow over here as well. Totally up to you. But I just wanted something simple, fall, and um, grapevine. So we'll leave that like that for now. And see, I brought it down lower too. It's not covering up this over here. But you could go up higher with your flowers if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. So, very pretty, I think. Alright, so let me clean up this mess here a little bit. I'll put this here so y'all can take a look at that. I love these colors though, I really do. I like the muted colors, the mustard, the rust color. Open up these loops a little more. And then the Papa Green Pumpkins. This one's hiding over here. There we go. So I don't know, I'll look at it and see if I need to add anything anywhere or, you know. All right, let me show you guys this one more time before I say goodnight. I will take pictures of this tomorrow and get it put up for you. I thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I really do appreciate you being here. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Do something fun. Spend it with family. Spend it with friends. Have a few refreshments. And be safe, okay? Um, thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you, Susan, for helping me. I really do appreciate it. And you all have a great night. Bye.